Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel Gemini. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Gemini sign please. Thank you so much Gemini for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Gemini for being here. If you would like to further connect with me Gemini, please click the bell and click the subscribe button Gemini. I am channeling the last two weeks of June and the full month of July. So what's coming towards us is the full moon very soon in the next two to three days. So I might be able to pick up that vibe. This is the la this is this reading for today. I'm channeling the energy of the end of June, the last two weeks. I think it's the is it the last two weeks? Yeah, the last ten days. And then the full month of July. Okay, what can I get for the Gemini sign, please? Daily collective reading. What's the message in love, career, money, and general situation? What is coming towards the Gemini sign, please? Let's look at the past, the current energies, and the immediate future. Past energy. What's coming towards you and the immediate future? I'm also going to pick up your current, okay, like your overall energy, okay? Okay, let's see. Where's your heart space? Where's your head space, Gemini? What can I get for the Gemini, so Gemini sign? What is the message that is meant for you to know? Okay, all right. Now, you're starting the reading, Gemini, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords, and you have the King of Wands in here. Um... I feel like right now, moving towards the immediate future, there's so much passion. You know, the King of Wands, this is you, okay? You are definitely the King of Wands. You're full of passion. You're full of optimism. Um, I feel like this new moon in Sagittarius, and I think in Vedic Sidereal, I think it's happening in Capricorn. But this full moon is somehow reigniting you gemini to you have you have some of this you have some creative pursuit okay you have some you have some creative hobbies or creative pursuit that you have put it in the back burner gemini and i feel like the universe is inviting you to look into or explore those creative adventure it's very therapeutic and it's also the king of wands it puts your heart space and head space and spiritual learning into something that makes you more productive okay the king of wands somehow there's a past energy in here okay you're being influenced with you know especially um the six of swords the six of swords is mentally moving on from missed opportunities so one way for you to combat moving on from bad experience or missed opportunities or things that doesn't grow things that doesn't work out maybe this is rejection uh, maybe this is failure one of your ways to counter the bad experience the not so good vibe build up connected from the past you know is to be the king of wands like you're being advised to tap into your uh you're being advised to tap into your higher power and activate your creative pursuit especially exploring okay with the king of wands like explore you know keep keep your mind creative because your mind is very powerful that if you ignite its creativity not only it will give you the most amazing therapy you know it will keep you busy it will keep you going and one of these days you're gonna wake up with full of confidence full of self-esteem that you will forget about the bad experience okay there is a simple way to move on from bad experience let it go and build your self-confident self-esteem and self-worth it's either put a lot of self-love or keep yourself busy or maybe both and you can do both of that because you're the king of wands you're the king of passion where you put your passion it grows there's fire inside of you gemini yeah so in terms of you know overall energy 
you know your higher self it is your higher self Gemini your higher self Gemini is advising you have an open mind and really give yourself a chance to move on from the bad experience and activate the king of wands energy the creative pursuit it's very therapeutic for you it's it's like keep yourself busy and productive and you will glow up okay what else is coming towards you is you have the star card okay the star card you could be dealing with an Aquarius I like this this combination the star card and the nine of cups this speaks about wish fulfillment okay let's look at the star card oh ace of cups so for some of you the last 10 days of June moving towards July probably early part of August um, your wish to start all over again with a new situation ship a new relationship or reset an existing situation ship or relationship I'm seeing that happening for you in fact it could be around the time of maybe after the full moon or right right after the full moon or it could be before the new moon in the month of July because you have the six of wands in here what's coming towards you in the immediate future Gemini is well first of all the next two weeks I'm seeing you proactively ace of cups I feel like you're going to do a lot of ace of cups and with the six of wands in here with the six of wands in here Gemini the next two weeks I'm seeing a lot of external people connection people information external energy and people 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 connection they will come through to you and it's very healing so it looks like the universe is guiding you and assisting you and helping you Gemini because you're gonna get some online invitation information and all of the invitation catch up or the something that you would also explore in terms of I'm, I'm seeing here digital information so for some of you the next two weeks it's very interesting and it's very satisfying because you will be able to pursue new connection or there is a new connection in here or you can reset a particular relationship to an ace of cups and not only that but with a six of wands the hierophant card I see you smiling the next two to three weeks Gemini with the hierophant card um, you would notice that the exact people and invitation and information that you require it will come forward okay so it's very exciting we are now shifting from so the Gemini season is over and we're moving towards the cancer season okay so there's a lot of online chat online invitation digital information that it's really good to read good to watch good to explore and for some of you you're going to read it or you're gonna chat with them you're gonna connect with them exchange message them but then there's a follow-up of face to face so good people connection good exploring of new things in here it's very therapeutic to be honest with you guys the next two, it's very relaxing yeah I think what I'm seeing in here Gemini is that accept people connection people invitation because it's gonna heal you and it's gonna connect you again with the nine of cups the nine of cups is that feeling feeling love feeling fulfilled feeling that you are connected to people that is important to you and people that brings out the best in you whether it's friendship maybe romance because this is an ace of cups but it's a very interesting information and people connection that will be coming forward okay um, you have three aces in here ace of cups you have an ace of wands you have an ace of swords so I'm telling you Gemini the next two to three weeks it's it's hard to miss the following invitation it's hard to miss the following information like people connection people invitation including information 
I see you exploring it. So the next two to three weeks, you have, you have an Ace of Cups, an Ace of Wands, and I feel like this Ace of Swords, this is you. Like so many, so many offers, so little time. Suddenly, your next two to three weeks is busy because you keep getting an invite. You're also arranging yourself to meet up. So there is a lot of outgoing, incoming and outgoing energy. And that incoming and outgoing energy, Gemini, it's going to take you to an Ace of Cups. It's going to take, it's going to take you to kind. There's a kind person. There's a kind and loyal person that is going to reach out or you're going to meet or you're going to connect. And this King of Cups is going to make you feel passionate again about love, about life, about friendship. But the next two to three weeks, it's very fun. It's very loving. It feels like the universe is going to position you into location into information that would allow you to heal and allow you to forget the bad experience especially the universe brings you this king of cups in here this king of cups this is a very interesting person the king of cups it brings like it makes you believe in kindness in love and loyalty this is exactly the person that you would want to be with in the next two to three weeks. The universe is going to send it to you. With the Ace of Swords in here, your self, your self-worth and self-integrity, it's going to pull, like your self-confidence is going to, your self-worth and self-integrity, Gemini, it's going to increase after you explore or meet up with the following people in here. You know, the following people connection that you will be encountering in the next two to three, two to three weeks, there's, they're, food for, they're food for the soul. You know, there are some people in our life that we connect with them. We, we connect to them and they drain us. Well, this one, they're very kind and loyal and uplifting. So it could be love. It could be friendship. It could be you're going to spend lots of time outside with the people you like, the people you love. And it's just a thrilling experience and you will feel connected with your life again. It feels like, you know, it feels like um, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. You feel alive again and you feel so thankful that you are trying. Because, you know, you're, you're, you're reading because if you wouldn't try, you wouldn't be able like you're also open. I mean, the following people connection and invitation and offers it's 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 being it you like it wouldn't happen if you're not open with it so your energy is also like i'm open to try that's why you're getting all of this experience so the universe is telling you gemini keep moving forward keep your heart and mind and soul open because it's gonna solidify you good experience good people they're good um they're a source of food for your soul and if your soul your spirit is well fed your high vibe and it allows you to forget about the bad experience okay so lots of exciting things you'll so be open okay be open okay be open now this is what i have for you my gemini friends thank you so much guys for supporting the channel thank you so much guys for being here i hope you like the reading if you do click the bell click subscribe especially the subscribe button if you click subscribe button you're giving me an energetic permission to connect with you guys and that will make me an advantage because i could be spot on to you so click the subscribe button bye gemini i'll see you soon guys bye bye